Welcome wrestling fans, it's Wrestling Revolution Keaton here with a very special guest, a man who needs no introductions, Nate Maddox. How did you first get into wrestling? I first got into wrestling when I was probably about three years old when I was watching, uh, when my brother used to watch wrestling to so my mom, so I kind of just got to, got to into wrestling through them. What I wrestling guess. was it? British wrestling? Uh, it was WWF at the time and one of my earliest memories was Yokozuna being presented with floors in the ring. I don't know why that stuck out in my head, but this was my first real recollection of wrestling was Yokozuna. Who trained you? Um, mostly Marty Jones. He was my, that's who I trained to, was Marty Jones. And what's your favourite match? Uh, maybe against Johnny Kidd, um, British legend, um, over a year ago. It was really good. And how did you first this NXT? Um, and she came by when one of the, another wrestling promotions had closed down so good um, during the pandemic. And I already had a ring, and so I was going to start doing promoting some shows. So I thought, well, I was already paying storage fees for the ring, so I might as well just kill um, two birds with one stone and open up a training facility and somewhere to store my ring. So that's kind of how, more or less, um, came, to, came to be. What would be your top three pieces of advice you would give a training? Top three advice I'd give to a young trainee, such as yourself, is um, be respectful, um, train hard, and keep on chasing your dream. Um, that's it. Never give up. Okay. What goes on behind the scenes when you're putting up shows? A lot of stress, Keaton, because <laughs> you have to micromanage some people as well. Like you know, you have to give a lot of direction. People are coming to you for answers, um, so it can be quite stressful. That's why I don't really wrestle on my own shows so much because there's so much stuff goes back behind the scenes, you know, uh, whether it be setting up production, um, sort of like the match card, maybe someone's pulled out of a show due to an injury, you know, there's a lot of moving parts, so it can, it's quite stressful, so uh, that's what I would say. Uh, who, who was the um, first breakout star in NXT? First breakout star in NXT? Um, I'd probably say maybe Dylan at the start, but I think Joe McCann has probably surpassed him. And, Maybe Canary Kid as well. Canary Kid is a very much a fan favorite, so he gets the crowd really into it. So, say like the two youngest members on the roster are the two most over and the ones who are doing the most. That's it. What's your worst injury? Yeah. Worst injury? Um, at the moment, my knee. You know, obviously Steve Salvage um, beat me up pretty bad, like you know. So, um, so I'm not wrestling at the moment, like, so. Where's your favourite place to wrestle? Favourite place to wrestle was probably Portugal with CTW. Um, Red Eagle at the time, he'd seen me travelling all over, over the world and stuff, doing different um, different shows and stuff like that. He, he got in contact with me and he said he wanted to wrestle me, so that's how that came about. And it's just the fans over there are very um, respectful and stuff, and they, they welcomed you. And anytime I go over there, like, it's like, you know, they're so excited to see me, so I'd say Portugal's probably one of my favorite places to wrestle. But so you know Ready you knew Ready Go then? Yeah, I knew you Ready Go for a couple of years, yeah. And who's the best CTW wrestler, Ready Go probably? Um, maybe a Brew. Yeah, I'd say a Brew's probably. Um, a Brew kind of reminds me a bit of like John McCann. Yeah, professional. Professional, yeah. yeah. Um, similar. Um, Wrestlers are both students of the game, they're both trying to make their way up through the ranks, both um, wrestle in their style. So. Was, there, was there ever a time your character was actually hidden for? No. No. Because people like me, you know, uh, when, when people like you, it's hard to be a bad guy, you know, so it's. And uh, what's, what's next for Nate Maddox? Um, keep on helping the next generation of wrestlers in Ireland and hopefully um, grow NXG to be the number one promotion, which I really think it is number one promotion, but it's just getting it out there for the more people and bringing in more stores as well to help elevate us to the next level. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Keith. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.